here we are. We're a little late. Sorry. Oops. What's up, everyone? It's What's What Wednesday with Kate Nash, your weekly live news feed. We're trying to get our, our, cra our crap together, guys. <laughs> and we have it. We, of course, we have it together. Look at us. I mean, come I on. Spreadsheets and everything now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and somebody's going to win 100 bucks today. Yes, they excited. are. So it being the last Wednesday of the month, if you're new here, you may not know. We do a uh, wheel where everyone who's gotten on the cash list throughout the month of August, and some are on it because maybe they won last month, maybe they did, um, was last month's birthday winner on this month too? I, yes, last month's birthday winner. So that's how it goes. So birthday winner for this month, because it's not the end of August yet. We'll go on next. Okay. What's up, Dana? Dana is our first commenter. What's up, hey, Ashley? Dana Bolina. Julia? Yeah, so winner from last month and birthday winner from last month got on this cash wheel. And I'm going to actually share it because I like to show how beautiful it is. Ooh, I'm not it's looking. Beautiful. I got to look. I don't see it. I'm coming to it. I'm oh. <laughs> I trying. In other words, I'm being impatient. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this Holy is what's what wheels opportunities or the cash wheel. I don't know which one I still want to stick it with, but cash wheel. Um, everyone who had been active in either being live with us during what's what Wednesday or participated in group posts. There's many ways to get on the cash wheel. We'll show you how to find out all those ways here in a moment. But look at all these beautiful names. I know. I'm so excited. It's such a huge list this month, which is great. And so Ashley's going to go over this in a few minutes when we start talking about the different um, or the way that you can kind of figure out what's all going on in this group and how to participate. So she's going to go over that. We go over that every week. Um, so she's going to tell you how you can get on this cash list. There's a couple of different ways, but we've added, I'm so excited about this because we added another way that you can get on the cash list last week, which was the challenge accepted uh, post. And we are adding another way this week, which is going to be a weekly post. And basically it's going to, to uh, be the first letter of your name. So if the starting with A, yay, Ashley, too bad you can't play. Um, Ashley, so for instance, if Ashley was able to play and get on the cash list, then she could post to this post, which is coming out after the show, um, because her name starts with a, did I, did, I, did that all make sense? Do you follow me? <laughs> so basically it'll be a post that tells you if your name starts with this letter, comment below. And then from those comments, we're going to randomly pull a winner from that posting to get on the cash list. That's it. That's the one. Yay. Thank you. Ash. Okay. So yeah, multiple ways to get on it. We do a random post that we pull from similar to that, but this one she's talking about will be a given letter. Your name starts with it. You comment below, you get on the cash list. Of course, starting as of last week, like she said, we got the um, challenge post. One came out yesterday. So we'll actually look at that one. Um, but the one from yesterday will get you onto the cash list for September because we're in the last week. So anything that gets done in that challenge will go into September's cash list. Right. And anyway. I just want to make it clear that not everybody with the, you know, that let's using A for an example. So if your name is Ashley or Anna or whatever, and you comment to the A post, not everybody that comments is getting on the cash list. It's going to be a rando draw. Yeah. And the challenge post is going to be kind of similar. I noted in that post where if maybe all we have is like five people who do the challenge, maybe I'll get them all on the cash list. But if there's a bajillion people, we're probably just going to pull a random winner off of there. So it's going to be flexible. Um, anyway, this is this month's. Shall we see who our winner is? Sure. Hey, spinning. Oh, 
Kelly Watts, Baka. <laughs> Yay, Kelly. Sister Kelly. Sister, sister. She Yay. has been such a loyal follower. She deserves this. <laughs> this is awesome. Congratulations, Kel. You got to steal some money, honey. All right, you got your screenshot? Did. Okay, so that was this month's cash wheel. And here we go getting more people on for next month. So in the top of the group, if you are new, we always tell you, make sure you're looking at the cover photos. Uh, if you click here, it says, ex click here to experience mom nation. When you do that, you have a caption photo here that will give you a whole bunch of awesome information. Um, so right now, this month, we've been highlighting Marcy Sawyer, one of our sponsors with Barna Crafts. Um, she's actually what we would consider a group expert in arts and crafts. But I'm going to tell you, this lady is phenomenal at doing a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, anything to do with uh, woodworking, um, she's just phenomenal at making even custom orders. Um, so anytime you have a handcrafted project or, um, you know, home decor, furniture, I mean, they're, they're doing all kinds of stuff, even barn doors. And, and she may be, I think she might be making Lynette Hunt's uh, turtle a home. I don't know. I suggested oh, it. Oh, anyway. I saw that post. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, she's your go-to gal if you have anything woodworking that you want created, or maybe you're a teacher who needs some inspirational educational toys. She's got a lot of great things and you can connect with her. Right here is her information in the caption. If you are on mobile, you would want to go ahead and hit view photo in order for that caption to pull up <clears throat> on your cell phone. Um, we're also going to highlight the fact that this month's uh, trivia sponsor was Top Notch Landscaping. We did already pull that trivia winner and um, she's going ahead and getting a $50 gift, no, gift card uh, for Starbucks, which is awesome. Um, but this right here is the direct me page for the group. If you actually open it up, it will take you to a one-stop shop for all mom nation resources. So the very top right now, we have the mom nation marketplace. Anytime we have a current giveaway. So this month we had the, um, massage and foot bath giveaway. Thank you, Kara Lever, for sponsoring that. That was up there. Oh, oh, it's Team Evo AZ sponsored that, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the massage was from Team Evo AZ to celebrate Mom Nation's birthday. Kara threw in a foot bath, so it yeah. was dual. Double doing it. I like mm -hmm. it. Um, yeah, so when we have a giveaway, they'll populate up here. And if you subscribe to the page, you'll actually get a notification when things are added. So giveaways, events, all the, all the goods, you'll get a notification letting you know what's been added. Yeah. Um, and speaking of that marketplace, I just, as I was hopping on the show live, I was just chatting with somebody who was shopping on the marketplace website. So yay. Well, I hope this week's challenge post helps with that. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that was the reason I was talking to her. Or maybe. <laughs> All right. So mom nation discount codes. Yay. We pushed it to the top. Um, anytime mom nation has a promo code that you can take advantage of, it gets pushed into here right now. We have my first nest egg, um, and the pogo passes. Um, we also have the pogo pass up in the mom nation marketplace, which is nice because it takes you directly to the link. Um, four pogo passes and you can choose the state use the promo code makes it real nice and easy um let's see mom phased list so this list many of us have come to recognize it as a great place to come when you need recommendations for awesome businesses in different industries we went through at the beginning of the year and nominated our favorite businesses in the valley and then they got voted on and then from those votes we figured out who's ever who's, who were the favorites? <laughs> so all the favorites got put into here. So if you're looking for recommendations on businesses, come check this list out. It probably has what you're looking for. Can't wait to see how next year's goes. 
Um, I know. So what's cool about that is, so this was the first year that we did it. Right. And mm-hmm. after we did it, I got a couple of, oh, funny, Ashley. Ashley's like, that was me texting you. So you can save my number. <laughs> it didn't come through as your name. So I didn't know who it was, but now I do. So awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Um, but as I was saying is I got some feedback after we released that and they're like, well, what about this industry? And what about this, whatever? And that's the beauty of us doing it year after year is growing. Exactly. Like we're not going to know every single business out there. I mean, there's certain things that Ashley does that I don't do, you know what I mean? And and vice versa. So with the help of each other, then we can really make it an awesome resource for our mama members. Yay. All right. When you're on the direct me page and you see these double folders, it's going to say click to open because there's all sorts of resources within it. So this is specifically for all mom nation members. Um, so what is mom nation? Oh, did <gasps> that get updated? Yes. It did. Yeah, it should. It should have actually already launched. I launched it last night as a premiere today. So we do have an updated video, which I'm really excited about that Ashley and Sherry and I put together last week. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's an updated one. Cause the one that was there was actually a from the heart episode where we talked about the group and, and it was great, but it was, it's getting dated. Things change and we grow and we end up doing different and more things. So I felt like it needed a refresh. Yeah. I'm glad we did it. It's also a bit shorter. So when members are coming into the group or just getting to know mom nation, you know, it's a little, it's not quite so much to chew off. I think the other one was like almost an hour. So yeah. All right. And then, um, mom nation USA website, we do have a website. Most of all of our things are on there. Um, definitely check that out. If you're new to the group, um, Facebook group rules are on the website. Um, the, uh, different state groups. So there are several other state groups and you can check those out, share them with family, friends who may be in those state groups or interested in joining, uh, getting on our distribution list. So our trivia question is in our once a month newsletter and you get that newsletter if you're on the distribution list. If you're not on the distribution list, you're not going to get it. So Join the distribution list so you get that once a month newsletter. That's all it is, is once a month, guys. Yeah, it's never been more than that. And then you just respond to the email with the trivia answer. And if it's correct, we get you onto the uh, trivia wheel. And the winner from the trivia gets on the cash list as well. So Lots of ways. Lots of ways. Um, submit a blog posting, how to do that. So if you're a blogger or you want to start blogging, we make it pretty easy for bloggers to submit articles or pieces. So you can read more on that. Um, Biz Mom Networking by Mom Nation. We do have a free uh, networking group that's nationwide. You're welcome to join that, especially if you're a mommypreneur and you want to be able to connect and network and uh, support each other. So Um, Another thing is job postings. If you are an employer and you have a job listing that you would like to share in the group, uh, you can submit that job and it would go up on our website. And then we give you a direct link to that once it's been approved and vetted. Um, That way you can share that direct link on your own social media platforms or in the state groups. Um, and it'll get approved to be able to do that. So basically trying to avoid scammy, not jobs being posted in our group. We can't control the internet. I know, I know, I wish I could, but we can't control the internet. And the, the most that we can do is put in safeguards on our end. So that's why that's there. This is true. Uh, <laughs> if you're a mom who's wanting to search through jobs that are up on the site, searching through them right here. Um, and then this next folder is going to be Arizona specific resources. So you can click to open and here is what we said we'd go over. So mom nation, AZ events. If you actually remember on the cover photo, 
underneath the direct me. We put the events here because if you're like me and Katie, your events tab in the group is missing. Well, it so, comes back and it's all like, mine has oh, never come back. I'm here and then it's gone again. Yeah, mine never comes back. It's been missing for I don't know how long. It's not a setting problem for me. Discrimination. It, I've already checked my settings. But anyway, if your events tab is missing, you can get into events through the cover photo or in the uh, direct me page. So if you want to create and host approved events, we would love for you to do that. You can check out this form here. The form um, allows you to let us know what event you're wanting to host. Most likely it'll be approved as long as it's legal uh, and, you know, not it. What is the words I'm looking for? Legal. Uh, ethical. Ethical. <laughs> fun and engaging and, you know, not just like a sales salesy event. So we joke about that. Um, we've never had somebody submit an event that's not legal. Um, we've never to my recollection had anyone try to submit one that's not ethical, but we got to be careful, you know? Yeah, I agree. Um, so uh, what was the other one? So cash list rules. So we talked about how to get on the cash list, which today so far, the first commenter got on the cash list. Dana Ashley. Wilson, first commenter. We should probably do a timer. I thought you said it was Ashley. No, I said hi to Ashley. Ashley was the one who I was talking to texting that was shopping on the, on the marketplace. Okay. Now you know why Katie does this and not me. <laughs> this is my brain. Um, all right. So yeah, we got the first commenter. We're going to get the last commenter in today's show. So stay with us. Um, there will be a timer that goes off in the comment that is in today's live news feed. We'll get into the cash list. Our top 10 contributors are going to get on the cash list and a new mama from um, our welcome post will get on the cash list. But there are several other ways outside of today's live to get onto the cash list. And this post um, we'll highlight, uh, if not all of, I hope it highlights all of them, but I know that the one you just added may not be on there. So we will update that as things get added. Uh, I'm mom, starting it now. Timer go timer. Yay. That means comment away. Ladies, this is your chance to get on it. Get um, on. Mom Nation member exclusives. So anytime you want to let our members know about an exclusive discount you're willing to offer them for just being a member, you can come to this posting and let us know about that exclusive discount. A lot of our approved market vendors have their discounts actually in on the marketplace. So you can always check them out. Again, the marketplace is up 24-7, 365 days a year. So anytime you want to shop and have things delivered directly to you and you want to support local moms, that is your go-to place to do that. Uh, all right. The website actually has specific page for Arizona. Getting there is here. Homeowner education and tips. So there is a group by Team Evo AZ, which is a homeowner's education group. And if you want to get in on that, the timer going off. Jamie Talkington. Yay! Jamie. Um, if you want to get uh, to learning all the fun things that they put in there, I mean, they give you anything related to home owning, home buying. Uh, I can't think of anything you guys don't go and talk about in there that's real estate related, <laughs> even building your credit, um, all kinds of good stuff. There is the uh, free networking a group and that has its own resources as well. So joining the group um, is right here. There's also an exclusive networking group that you can learn more about. Um, scheduling your BizMom networking business posting. So in the BizMom networking group, you can schedule to uh, be able to promote yourself and your business roughly once a month. and. Uh, do it and get it approved to go into that group. It's pretty awesome. Um, Biz Mom networking events. So any events that they have will populate in here. And if you're a business mama who wants to come on as a guest in the shows, 
you can get to doing that here. Uh, getting involved. If you're someone who wants to get more involved with us, you can become a Mom Nation sponsor. You can become a uh, virtual storefront marketplace vendor. Um, so getting your business actually in the marketplace. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Uh, you can just simply use this form to learn all the ways to get involved with Mom Nation. Um, and then join our committees. There's an event committee and a charity committee. And if you are interested in joining those, we would love for you to come in and help us bring more events and charities to the group. Uh, anytime you want to come on as a guest, again, we have it separated here as well for either the From the Heart podcast or the Live and Learns. They, the Live and Learns are roughly about 20 minutes and the From the Heart podcast is about 45 minutes. Um, but they're both very unique and awesome. And we would love to have you. Yeah. Live and learns are doing amazing uh, Yay. as I far know. as views and stuff like replay views. So it's getting pretty exciting because it's so, so fun for me. And I love, <clears throat> sorry, I still have that nasty cough. It's crazy. Um, I love learning about all of the moms, you know, the entrepreneurial moms out there. And we just have such skilled moms that have such awesome specialized knowledge. And I'm always so grateful that they're willing to share with us. And it's really helpful to me. So I'm sure it's helpful to our peoples. It is. And I mean, you guys, I mean, there's so many variety in the topics that we're learning. Uh, what did you say? We've done almost 200 and you've done almost 200. Oh, I think it's more than that or close to that. Yeah. Um, okay. So all the ways to listen to all the shows is so beautifully laid out here and then, uh, YouTube playlist. So if you're someone who likes to watch the shows, uh, they're all laid out here for you, including what's what Wednesday. Um, let's see, moving resources. So this is going to be anything real estate related. Uh, if you're thinking of moving to, um, or within AZ. You got uh, connecting with an actual agent in your target area. Free Anywhere, guys. Anywhere in the United States, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you're moving from here to, what did I just have? I just had Iowa. I just had um, a mama that I spoke to that was moving to Kansas. I just had another mama that I spoke to is moving to Arkansas. So yeah, anywhere in the entire country, I've got a whole bunch of connections to different resources and things like that. So, so does it make sense to rename this um, just resources for moving or real estate resources? We can talk about that later. Okay. Um, Searching homes for sale in Arizona, missed a mortgage payment, what to do, home buyer cheat sheets, uh, what you need to know when moving to Phoenix, Arizona monthly housing market update, the neighborhood news show, and Tip Tuesday. Uh, there's all these shows that obviously come into the group. You guys have probably seen them, or if you're new, definitely check them out. And then, of course, if you want to rewatch any of the What's What Wednesday shows, you can do that there. And all right, so that is the direct me page in a nutshell. I am going to pop back over to actually let's get our top contributors on for this next month. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so top contributors, if you guys aren't aware, they are, I don't know, Facebook does this really cool thing where it basically takes an algorithm and takes their, your posts, your comments, your reactions, events you're going to, just all your interaction within the group and it compiles our top contributors. So these top 10 contributors get onto our cash list, um, usually for that month, but on the last week, uh, it goes towards the next month because obviously we already did the wheel for this month. So Jasmine Gutierrez, Tony Marquette, Amy Taylor, Jamie Talkington, Karen Bethel, Ashley Parker, Becca Mays, Kelly Watts Baca, um, Marissa Lee Hall, and Sarah Pitcher. Y'all landed yourself already on September's cash list. 
Yay. Woot. And again, you can have your name on the cash list as you saw multiple times. So if it's a challenge post, if it's a random post, if it's participating in next week's What's What Wednesdays, you can get on there as many times as you choose. So keep that in mind. All right, pop back into the actual group. And I gotta zoom back. Sarah's on a cruise right now? Sarah, are you on a cruise? Jamie, <gasps> just, Jamie just spilled those beans. I didn't know Sarah was on a cruise again. It's not even, August isn't even over. We just got back. <laughs> I mean, the life of a travel agent. <laughs> my my house just stopped floating. Like, I can't oh. imagine making it float again. But okay, have fun. Have fun, Sarah. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and pop into the featured area. So when you guys are on the group, you can actually just kind of look through the featured tab here. It puts the posts usually in the order in which we'd like you to see them. But because we're live and I need you to see things a bit bigger. I'm going to pop into the feature tab if my computer wants to cooperate. All right. So this is, is this Matt's or which one is this? No. So this one is, is our monthly market update, very hyper-local information. We talk about Arizona statistics. We also talk about how nationwide happenings, news, things that are going on affect Arizona specifically. So it's not like you're listening to news when you watch us, you're not listening to news that is more for other areas or more of a broad uh, perspective. So it's very, very hyper-local. This will be changed out on Friday because we record a, an, an update okay. tomorrow. All right. So this is us live right now. And this is the new cash list that came out today. And the challenge, not cash list, the new challenge for this week um, is going to be going ahead and going to the marketplace and clicking the shop now on the marketplace vendors page. So if you go to the marketplace, you see a vendor that you're interested in checking out, go and click their shop now um, link or button on their page and shopping of course is encouraged however you simply need to take a look around at what they offer and feel free to reach out to them with any questions you have so uh important thing to know with all of these challenge posts is is that you have to come back and in the comments of the post put challenge accepted get me on the cash list once you've completed the challenge and it looks like we had a few already do it. Yay. Yay. Good job. Awesome. Um, so anyone, so again, this one's the flexible one. It really just kind of depends on how many people participate in the challenge. If I have less than five participate, I'll probably try to put all of you on the cash list. But if we have more than that, I'll likely just grab one of you to put on the cash list. So just for war there, uh, I mean, there's going to be one coming out each week. So it's not like there's not going to be implement opportunities. So, and we have the new letter thing. And we also have the rando draw on my posts throughout the week to get on there. So there's lots of different ways. Yes, ma'am. And the birthday one, I realize that's only once a year for us, but, um, you know, it happens. It helps. It all helps. All right. Tip Tuesday. So this is uh, Dana and Ryan with Waterstone Mortgage. Obviously, Dana is the beautiful hostess with the mostest for this uh, show with Team Evo AZ. This episode, I don't know what to call it, episode? This yeah, one that's is, what we call them. Okay, good. <laughs> Understanding mortgage insurance, PMI versus homeowner's insurance. So I people get them mixed up. So they're here to, um, you know, Dana and Ryan thought that it would be a good opportunity to share with our listeners and our followers the difference. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, guys. All right. Here is the new member welcome post. And I had already counted up all of our beautiful new members. Got we got a good amount this week. Yay. 
there is a good amount and I recognize some of the names. Welcome. Yay. All right. So there's 32 new mamas on this post. If you are a new mom and you're new to the group, please read that posting, check out the about me section, check out the cover photo. All of those areas are going to be wonderful ways to get to know the group and learn how to navigate the resources within it. Um, anyway, we are so glad that you're here. I usually say whoever invited you had a good reason to do it and you're sure to learn why that is. There's a lot of awesome women in here giving love and support to one another on a daily. And we're so glad that you've made it. You're part of it now. Yay. All right. So 32, I'm going to use random.org to figure out who's getting on the cash list for September. And we have mama number 25. All right. That sounded like an old song from the 90s. Mambo number 25. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, everybody. Janelle Camino. Oh, Janelle Camino. I know her. <laughs> well, and now, babe, you're getting on the cash list for September. So you can get your name on the cash list more than once. Rewatch this show from the beginning if you want to learn how to do that. Um, there's several ways to do it and it'd be awesome to see your name on there multiple times and to see you win. Yay. All right. Congrats, Janelle. Congratulations. That's a welcome post. Oh, look, so, it has so go back, 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 thing back on the bottom now. What is that? I don't know. It doesn't show that when I, cause I, it doesn't show that. <laughs> well, I and I'm it. like, what is Ashley talking about? Her soil is dying. Our that soil. would be really too bad because if you know anything about Ashley, she's a planty girl. So if her soil is on the bum, like that's a bad day for Ash. This wasn't showing when I chose that gift, guys. <laughs> I promise. Somebody's laughing. You call it a gift or a gif? Parker. I promise it was not there. All right. Do you, do you call it a gif or a gif? Did I just hear you call it a gif with like a gif? A gif? G-I-F. Gif. I call it a gif. Maybe that's GIF. not right. Is it GIF or GIF, ladies? Comment below. Tell us. <laughs> Whose pronunciation is correct? Oh, <laughs> um, I think I'm right. Most likely mine, but we'll see what they say. All right. Uh, so this posting is a feel-good posting. It comes out once a week for you guys to share anything you're celebrating, whether it's personal or business-related. We want to celebrate with you. Looks like we have a few on here. So Brianna Barnes, first trip in 10 years with no kids for me and the hubby, early 10 year wedding anniversary, September 23rd. We hope you guys had an awesome anniversary. And I think, yeah, Vegas, she and her family went to Vegas and travel with Sarah Michelle is the one who helped her book it off. So oh, fun. Yay. Vegas is so cool. Still haven't been. That's what I just shared with her in there. <laughs> All right. We got one vote for you and one vote for me. It's GIF. Yeah, it's GIF. Exactly. Not GIF. It's GIF. Guys, ah, GIF. It's a uh -huh. G. That's not what you just said. GIF. Replay. What? <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm mixing Jamie's it Jamie's on your side. Tony's on mine. Tony. Anyway. Did I okay. Make all right. All right. I can't follow it. I'm going to get, all right. I'm with Ashley. <laughs> That's Jamie. So far we've hey, got Jamie. one. All right. Well, Trader. Radiance at Superstition Vista in Apache Junction. Uh, so this is the neighborhood news and we've got all three of the beautiful Team Evo AZ ladies. So Dana, Sonia and Katie came on sharing with us all the need to knows on Radiance. That was the name of our ship, guys, when we went on our cruise. Radiance at Superstition Vistas in Apache Junction. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Or you just want what Katie calls your history lesson. It's, it's fun. They make it fun. All right. Mom Nation, Biz Mom, like and follow louder. This is a recurring post. So in the cover photo, we tried to let you guys know what recurring posts you can keep an eye open for. This is one of them. 
And it's an awesome post to come to, especially if you either one, want to build your following. If you're a business owner and you want interaction on your content and you want to network and connect with other business owners, great place to come. It's in every state group. So obviously that has a lot of benefits if you're doing it in each one of those weekly. Um, And what you do for someone, they do for you. So hence follow ladder. All right. So Tony Uh, just looked it up. I'm still stuck on this. So Tony just looked it up and she said, the inventor said it's GIF. GIF. Okay. Inventor. Okay. So I don't know who the inventor is, but she looked it up. GIF. With a G, not a J, guys. I know it's a G. Yes. All right. Yeah, but how do you say giraffe? Giraffe? All right, moving on. So, Mom Nation Ladder. <laughs> uh, the other way to to get to know if you're not even a business owner and you just want to get to know what other moms in the group are doing for their um, side hustle or their business, how you might be able to get to know and support them, this is obviously a good place to go. Just to even meet what uh, and learn what other moms in the group are doing, and I mean, support local guys. It helps not just that mom, but their entire family. And it just reaps so many rewards. Uh, Savings Sunday. This is going to be another recurring post. It's awesome for you to come in and let us know about different coupons, discounts, promotions, whether it's just one you learned about at the grocery store or newspaper or saw online, whatever or it's your own business that you're having some sort of temporary sale going on. Um, We're always going to be trying to keep it consistent with letting you know about the Pogo Pass, sharing again that promotion code, which is Mom Nation, that gets you 50% off and free admission to a bunch of awesome places. So definitely check this out. They're constantly adding new places, not constantly, but they do it frequently. And um, it's a great way it's a good gift, guys. Gift. Um, it makes a great gift though, because uh, it literally lasts an entire year from the time it's activated. So if the person you gift it to waits a month, two months, whatever, to activate it, it's still a year from the time that they activate it. So good Christmas idea. Or now, birthday, whatever. Or now. Or now. Oh, there's, did you talk about the, there's a sale. There is a sale. I haven't gotten an email. Yeah, it came out last week. I didn't see an email from them. I believe it started yesterday. Okay. Well, then we need to find out why we're not getting the email. It's an extra $5 off. Extra $5? Mm-hmm. So we'll try and get the uh, the updated information and... um. Yeah, right now there's an extra $5 off when you go to the checkout. All right, Team Evo AZ. So again, they're always going to let us know that they're offering discounts to those here utilizing their resources. We offer up to 10% towards purchase and offer a 30% discount to sell your current home. And the QR code here, if you aren't already aware, um, you can scan it, answer a few questions. And if you're just curious if there's uh, active buyers, pre-approved active buyers looking for a home like yours, it will build a report and let you know how many are. It's pretty and cool. it's fun. Even if you're not like interested in selling, it's always fun to know how desirable your house is. Mm-hmm. I agree. All right. Um, City of Chandler. This is Ashley Parker letting us know that City of Chandler is doing a lot of free events. Make sure to check them out. They're great for children. Awesome. I'm not sure if there's like a discount involved with this, but this would be an also a good place, Ashley, to put in the Fun Friday event. Or totally agree. And she's right. We actually, Mom Nation used to work directly with downtown Chandler and they changed some things. We worked with them for probably two years 
maybe three even back in the day. And they changed some things. They changed some staffing and they, they changed the way they were doing things. So we ended up getting away from that. But they were always super family friendly, kiddo oriented back in the day. So definitely check out City of Chandler. I agree with her. Yay. All right. Yard sale Saturday. Again, recurring post. Anytime you're looking to get rid of something, please post it in here. You might find that your purging is helping a mom in need. If you're going to go to Goodwill or a thrift store or a yard sale looking for something specific, come check this post out. Um, moms are either selling things or giving things away for free. There's a lot of different stuff that comes in here. It's not just clothes. It's all kinds of things. Um, this one's a little light. That's the lightest I've seen it in a long time. It's usually near like a hundred comments. Oh, dang. Yeah. People yeah. were uh, not selling stuff this weekend, I guess. And if not. All right. Uh, finding the right couples counselor, your ultimate guide. So this is Diana Easel and Katie. Um, and I forget the name of the show. It's Eisel, like I. Eisel. What yeah. did I say? Like I. Um, Easel. This is Q&A with a couples counselor. Q&A. And we kind of like nickname it our love story. And we talk a lot about couple of, couples counselory things. And this particular episode I thought was really great because Diana went over what to look for when you're, I mean, it can be just, it's like this whole sea of information. And if you're not, you know, really familiar with it, it can be super overwhelming. So she kind of gave some, you know, different things, some basics to look for and, and went into some further expl explanation about it. So it was pretty cool. Yay. I feel like there, yeah, look at, there's so many people that could probably at least have a better way of trying to make sure they're getting a good match when it comes to finding a good counselor. Cause that is oftentimes like, I don't know. I mean, I haven't, I haven't yet. I hope not. Knock on wood. <laughs> haven't had to go trying to find one, but I imagine having all that knowledge of knowing who to look for and finding a good fit would be extremely helpful. Yeah, because that matters. It's, you know, it's a, it's a huge big deal. It's very sensitive. Um, if, and I feel like, you know, obviously if you connect with somebody that isn't giving you all the vibes, try again because your relationship is worth it and it's important. But that can be a bit disheartening too, mm -hmm. to go in, spill your guts to somebody, feel like, okay, I'm going to get some help here. And then it doesn't work out can be a little disheartening. So some of that upfront work, you know, is, is really helpful. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys. So here's a, an example of our uh, weekly random cash pool. So when Katie um, puts out a post or sometimes maybe it's a post that I've put out, uh, there's going to be a chance that you would have your name pulled from the comments. And in this case, it's hard to see this post because it was so lengthy and I had to zoom out to get it. But if you recall this post, um, there was about 15 comments on there. And so we pulled in comment number three, who was Patricia Velma. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry. I butcher names. That's what I do. Um, you got on the cash list for this month. So your name was on that wheel when we spun it at the beginning of the show. She is actually a past client of Team Eva Wazy, and I am super excited because I'm going to see her at our big party coming up in October. You're going, Ash. I um, am going. Yes, it's going to be our annual client appreciation party. It is exclusive. However, I am going to be running a giveaway here coming up for one lucky mama that is not on that exclusive list to join us at the party. And we are talking awesome prizes. Like for instance, there's more than this, but there's going to be a coach purse being oh. given away. There's going to be a Vitamix mixer. There's a Hawaiian vacation. Um, yeah. So we're going to be giving away a bunch of stuff. It's an open bar guys go easy Yay. on me. Right. But it's an open bar. And we're going to have appetizers, desserts, all the yummies, dancing. I mean, just going to be an absolute blast. If you went last year, I promise you this year is going to be even better. We've moved venues and we are at Club 2301 in Chandler. And coming to our exclusive party also gets you free admission into a very hot nightclub for the rest of the night. So 
it's yeah. gonna be a blast i'm so excited um nick and i have already ordered our costumes oh yay what are you gonna be I got, to tell me i got a part of it the other day and i took a picture and sent it to sarah but now i understand why she didn't respond because she's on a cruise anyway what are you gonna be are you sharing I don't, so I'm doing it with Sarah and I don't know if she wants to share. Fine. Fine. Don't tell me. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to be though. So hopefully you guys don't match me. Uh Oh, what are you going to be? So our team's going to be the Adams family <laughs> yes, and you. I'm Morticia. I already have my dress. My husband is Gomez, which is freaking hilarious. He's that got like the, the little mustache and stuff, and he's got thing that goes on his shoulder. And um, Sonia's going to be Wednesday. Dana's going to be the grandma. And Alex is going to be Pugsley. Yay. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm so and excited. Nick made me promise not to tell anyone his. So I can't. Hi, tell- Nick. I know. I know. All right. Uh, moving onward. Fun Friday. This is another weekly posting. So Ashley Parker, this is where I would say is a good pop- spot. Um, to share any of those uh, events that you might come to learn. Um, let's see, there are four right there. Open, open. Uh, so Amy Upton, I was making sure she knew that this was going to be a good place for her to let us know about some class. So she was letting us know that on the west side, surprise area mamas, if your kid is interested in taking dance classes or competing with a team and you want to find an amazing studio that's only focused on proper technique, that's not only focused on proper technique, but also on infusing the love of dance into your community, definitely reach out to her. She is a teacher at this dance studio um, and definitely wants to get the word out that they're there and help and support dancers. So. Um, it looks like they're accepting students ages two and a half to 18. Um, and they have a r- array of classes, ballroom, contemporary, acro. Hey, I used to be an acro. Uh, oh. Just to name a few, as well as boys hip hop. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, and then there's also adult classes. Uh, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, it's here. So um, Mesa Art Center is going ahead and always letting us know about events that they have coming up. It gets a little lengthy. There's more in here than just one. So definitely read through this. Mesa Arts puts on a lot of great events and we're really grateful that they continue to share them with us. So you can learn all about what's going on and uh, what they shared with us. Looks like there's a festival happening on September 8th. and oh i love the dia de, de los muertos festival yes. that they do in october so much fun you guys they yeah. have the whole i'm not remembering the actual name for where they put all the photos and they have the flowers and the food and that whole so beautiful i can picture it in my head but i don't remember the name of that but they have that there in the middle of the festival or on the, you know, the Mesa art center grounds where they have the entertainment and they have the shopping and all of the stuff. It's so gorgeous. The colors are just awesome. And there's a bunch of things for kiddos to do and there's cool bands and stuff like that. So definitely check that out. So, yeah, so there's a festival on September 8th and then it looks like the, um, De Los Muertes festivals, October 21st and 22nd. Um, so definitely check all these out. And then, I mean, again, there's just so much in here. I don't, I'm not going to try and go through all of it, but they give you different ways to connect with Mesa Art Center, um, different ways to get engaged and then speaks to the events. So pretty awesome. Um, this was the posting that I randomly pulled and, uh, we got someone on the cash list. And that just went under contract yesterday. Yay! This house went under contract, you said? Yeah. Yay. All right. Thankful Thursday. This is another feel good post. If you're thankful for something, please share it with us. Uh, Leanne Weiss has gone ahead um, and let us know that I'm thankful for the opportunity to pursue 
my own aspirations after a successful 25 years career that I enjoy enjoyed until I didn't. Having the support and financial freedom that I worked so hard for has given me new perspective and drive to follow my passions in life. And I'm thankful. Um, and I'm trying to Crawford's uh, Auto is actually her business. And so anytime you guys have vehicle or um, I mean, pretty much anything that you would go to a mechanic for, definitely talk with her. She's we're, we're, she's got her auto mechanics group expert badge here that she's able to show off with us. So I'm sure she'd love to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, Tony Marquette, I am grateful for having a handy husband who embraces my visions for our projects. He bulks sometimes and says he cannot do what I'm asking, but then I remind him of all the previous times he thought he couldn't and he did with flying colors. And so he presses onward. I'm having him build custom furniture pieces for a dressing room project. Yay. Awesome. I love it when husbands decide to learn new things. It's me trying too. to <laughs> put some elbows into Nick to do some things too. Uh, Ashley Parker, I'm thankful that my truck didn't break down in the heat and that my kids uh, in it with my kids in it and my husband worked on it last night. Well, Park Ashley, if you need help, Leanne Wise, she would definitely be an awesome person to talk to if you guys need help with your car. Agreed. Uh, this was the cashless post. So again, we already talked about um this was actually last week, so I can unpin this one. And then that's us last week. Yes, ma'am. So, so I think probably getting, the end of the road. I think that's the end of the road. Uh, cashless update. Yep, that's from last week. So, all right. Events. The ever elusive. <laughs> what? The ever elusive events. Events. All right. So you guys, hopefully you heard us in the beginning talk about how to get to the events. If your events tab is missing as mine is, you go into the cover photo, you go right there in the caption of the cover photo. There's a way to get into links or events and then, or you can go in the direct me page and it will be there as well. So upcoming events, uh, Team Evo is doing the home maintenance and things homeowners need to know. Uh, it's a self-guided, um, kind of class. Um, and so that's happening now. Yes. And rumor has it, the team Eva Wazy girls are bringing back the, bringing back the repair your credit challenge. So keep an eye out for that coming up soon. I've had a lot of conversations with mamas that are like, that's it. I need to get my credit, you know, good squared away so that I can start meeting some goals here. So we're here to help you. Yay. All right, guys, and just a reminder, we're getting toward the end of our live today. So comments should be coming in so that you can get seen as the last commenter. I have some feedback here for the happy link. hours. I think we need to change this title. Happy hours, business owners connecting does not tell me what this event is. And this event is the game show event. And that's pretty cool. It is cool. I added business owners connecting because... I want people in Mom Nation to know that these aren't just happy hours for anyone to come to, but it's specifically for business owners because it's I don't think that matters, an event though. from Biz Mom Networking Group. And yeah. I mean, I don't think that matters. I think that, you know, people coming to connect is totally fine, whether they be business owners or not. Obviously, business owners have a different agenda when they're networking with each other, right? It's more for business support and all sorts of different aspects. Um, but I guess my point just is, is if I was in, uh, not in the know and I was looking at this, I would have no idea that that's a super fun game show thing that I think a lot of people would be really interested in. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was, a the business networking groups sharing that into mom nation as a one-off. Usually I don't think we're going to, I didn't think we were putting the happy hours in here every time, but okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the pure, more the merrier. Okay. Uh, pure Romance is going to be having a party at the end of September. That's also another one to keep an eye open for. And then that happy hour 
um, game show uh, event. It's got a max of 30 people. So if you have not already paid an RSVP, just know that there is a limit to how many people it can take. Oh, yikes. I better get a move on that. Yeah. So uh, September 8th is when that happy hour will be happening, and that's at 7 p.m. So definitely read the description in there and uh, and get a move on that. All right. Um, I think that's it. So last commenter, who is it? Who is it? Tony. Tony. Tony Market. Whoop, whoop. Thank you all, oh, as always, for being here with us. We love you. Happy Wednesday. Happy home day. And have a great rest of the week. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.